Hello everybody and welcome to Football Park for the 1999 SANFL Grand Final. Yes, it's Port Adelaide and Norwood. And history tells us that these two sides met in the first Grand Final on the 5th of October, 1889. I think you just sort of perhaps focus on, you know, this is it. You know, they don't save anything up until the end. It's do or die. So we're confident we can do it. But, um, you know, you never go into a Grand Final thinking, well, you know, we're going to win the game. No problems. There's always going to be, it's tough to win any Grand Final, even if you end up winning by a lot of goals. It's still a hell of a contest. So, you know, when 99 come along and they came from fifth to get there, um, she, she was on for young and old. You know, it's a, it's a big game. It's a winner take all. Um, and it doesn't matter what you've done. We were the best side throughout the year and they were coming from fifth. The roar goes up as just the ultimate in football. You just want to get on with the game. The last final pact and the commitment that you have to make on grand final day. Well, I mean, we came from fifth, so um, and we made it to the grand final, so we had the belief that we could go all the way. Um, it was only just that Port was standing in our way. Everything was even on the day, you had to perform. You know, the pressure on us guys being favourite, I think, was pretty high. I stood a bloke named Pasco, who was uh, six foot six. With him and Eugene Warrior, they were their big hope of kicking and winning score. So I was preparing all week to stand Eugene. Um, I walked out to shake his hand at the start of the game and he belted me in the, in the stomach and winded me before the first siren. The 1999 SA NFL Grand Final. Umpire thumps the ball into the centre circle. Up goes Yerbury. You know, Steve had set us up pretty well to uh, fight, get firing straight away in the game. So we just wanted to get that first one on the board to kick start the final. momentum. So Poole will kick for goal from 25 metres out on a very tight angle. Kicking into the teeth. Oh, good kick. Oh, that's a great kick. Well, well, there pumping. you go. That's a grand final kick. That's the one you want. Of Bowman's head. He goes down. He's taken high. Gets his boot to ball. Back there is Carr, a couple of North players, the umpire has blown his whistle, Big Paul comes in! And if you watch the start of that game, some of the attacks on the ball by, you know, Julian Waite, Leasy, Carts, guys like that were just uh, exceptional and, uh, you know, that just sets the foundation for the way the game's going to be played. Is there Tim either? No, plenty of fresh legs. Paul to Brown, he's 48 and closing with the breeze on his back, floats it in, Brown, he gets his first in the 99 Grand Final. Forward he goes into space, Brown is there, going at it, charging at it. Oh, that was great courage, David Brown. What a skipper's effort. As the future ahead of him. Bassett, the high ball, the breeze brought it back, I think it has. The umpire went pretty quickly to his left. Let's now move out to the 20-point margin over the Magpies. Again, you feel some anxiety sneaking into the Port Adelaide coaching box. He does that, Pasco over the back of James. He comes up with a football. Beautiful skills there by James around his body. You, you, you like having the momentum, but you always know they're going to challenge you. Steve Carter came off and Clates came on and got a free no kick and uh, got a 50 free. metre penalty, went back, no, dobbed the goal. The, uh, second semi final, this is game number 51. Only eight career goals, and his ninth would be a big team lifter, and it is. Went off to the bench, came back on, dobbed another goal. He kicked two goals in that second quarter, which was Unfeet. crucial for us. Crown, cool, Clayton. Well, could he be the man? Hasn't he got a school level? Well, that is just a very clever thing. We knew that we had a lot more in us. We could play a lot better and we were still in the contest. Yeah, the, the, the poor crowd are always fantastic and it does give you a lift. But uh, we, we, we know that you've got to keep playing for the full four quarters to uh, get the win. So we, we had no doubt that they'd come back at us through the game. So we just wanted to keep moving Impact. forward. McCormick. Clayton misses him, but the siren sound it's half time in the 99 grand final. Seven points the margin in favour of Norwood, uh, Tim. And I guess when it was 20 points out at one stage, it was looking pretty, pretty bleak uh, for Port Adelaide, but they responded as only Port Adelaide can. 